I'm Buddha Maitreya, and I'm going to be giving teachings on the tools that I provided for this planet. And uh, they're Shambhala healing tools. They're based on a science called Metatronics, which is I helped to develop. And uh, basically, um, most people know me from the movie Little Buddha. Yeah, in uh, Little Buddha is based on a nine-year-old child in America, in uh, Washington at that time, and uh, was picked up by Tibetans and went to the house of the mother and father and told the parents that this is their teacher, a reincarnation of Buddha, and that uh, uh, he needed to go back to Tibet and continue his teaching as a teacher. And so that happened to me. That was my real life. Uh, they really did come and get me. And it really did take place. And I really was enthroned. As you can see here, I'm teaching. And I teach all the higher masters in Tibet. And my relationship to uh, these students uh, is that I first gave my tools to them. Yeah, That's who received the tools. Uh, I went to Kathmandu and I began uh, actually making the tools there and then uh, sharing them with high lamas and Rinpoches. And as time went on, you know, I continued making them and uh, came back to America and Europe and continued making them. And uh, some of my students were really interested in helping me in that process. So I began the process of developing uh, tools that will be for uh, everyone rather than just for the Masters of Wisdom, which basically was my focus because there's so many of them and they, uh, I am not really interested in, in this as a marketing situation. But to facilitate, you know, I, I developed soul therapy. I created all the music of soul therapy music and I created all these tools. So first of all, the first tool that ki came out is an etheric weaver. Yeah, I created this when I was around nine years old. And uh, I was uh, very into uh, quantum physics, a uh, uh, weird thing for a nine-year-old, but that was my thoughts. And um, I saw things in great geometric realities as far as nature, fine-tuned down to the atomic level. So uh, I was able to feel and sense as how energy works. So I created this, which is a crystal, and I used copper wire, like these crystals here. This one here is copper wire. yeah. And what I do is that I wrap the copper wire tightly around the crystal, wrap it all the way around, have them come down, and I use two really powerful niobium magnets right here. Yeah? And they pulse. They have an electromagnetic field, so they're pushing, and the wrapping is like a radio wrap. You know, or a motor wrap, so it's it's working with this electromagnetic field, and the pressure on it is creating a piezo effect, which is light. A piezo effect is what happens when you put pressure on a crystal, and you add this magnet to it, and you add the pressure of this wrapping, which is constant, and as that goes on, a tiny bit of light, a piezo effect, light generates at the center point of this crystal. So literally, as you're tapping into it, you're tapping into light. So this heals the etheric field, because the etheric field is based on light, yeah? the transference of energy. Yeah? So this it has here a little uh, etching, which is the cross of Christ and a circle and a star of David. Yeah? That's my symbol. I came up with that as a child and been using it ever since. So these weavers uh, came out, and I had them about this big when I first made them. And now there are full sets, and they come in a lot of different colors. They come in blue like this. Yeah, All these crystals are grown in Siberia. Yeah, There's a large lab in Siberia that grows crystals for technology and advanced technologies. So the crystals are basically the clearest form of crystal that you can create. Yeah, and what it's used for is technology, vibrational effects, light, electrical patterns, all the things that's used in higher forms of technology that gives little resistance, allows light to pass perfectly, allows radiance to pass perfectly around 
vibration to pass perfectly. You know, so it's a perfect tool for attuning to light and being able to meditate at an extremely high level. So I created that and put all these together. There's an enormous number of them. They come in the full color of the rainbows and they, they are wrapped in the form of rainbow and, you know, like this. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. You know, so all of these are basically used as kind of like a pendulum. Yeah, and what happens is that the uh, etheric weaver is dangling. It's within the uh, electromagnetic field of gravity. And in that field, there is chi. Yeah, we're not really clearly aware of it, but it's there. Yeah, and as we hold something like this up, and we put it in a place to where we have like my hand, I put it over my hand and I let it do what it's doing, which it just begins to spin automatically. And this is on its own. Yeah, so as it spins, it's actually energetically pulsing through my hand and my entire body, yeah, which is really quite healing. Yeah, and after a while, it stops. And that's the time that uh, the effect is, is, has done its job. So basically, you, you use this etheric weaver. Uh, I do. I use it for people who have pain, who have problems, who just need balancing or anything like that. So I start with it sitting over the hand or the area that has a problem. And then I let the weaver spin, and it spins until it stops. And once it stops, the connection between that person and God yeah, has made its contact. The Holy Spirit has made it through the body. It's entered through the body, and it's doing the job it's meant to do. Yeah, so once it stops, that's that. Now, you can actually weave it over the entire body, and you'll find several places that will, will spin and stop. And th those are actually uh, rents, areas of the uh, minor chakras and other parts of the vehicles that are rented. Yeah, so it's caused by outside forces and inner side processes that are negative, and they need to be healed. And once these things are healed, you find yourself an enormously clear uh, person of mind and emotions. Your emotions become much more stabilized, and your process of mind goes to higher mind. So you're able to deal with things with thought and, and uh, have that thought have an effect over how you feel about this situation. Uh, you're not just taken over by your emotions and taken over by your physical uh, lack of well-being, but it literally lifts you up yeah, from, your, from those limitations into your higher mind, which begins raising up all those energies, your astral energy, and having it then come out and heal. Yeah, that's a natural thing in yoga. That's a natural thing in meditation. It's a chi balancing effect. Yeah, so this happens in the tools, every single one of them. Yeah.